Hello, everyone. I'm Chuanling. I'm very glad you all took the time to attend my training today. Today, I would like to introduce the ZK Mouse CV Security. Today's content consists of four parts, including what's ZK Mouse CV Security and the highlight functions, ZK Mouse CV Security Server, the hardware recommendation. First of all, let's learn about what's ZK Mouse CV Security. In fact, the ZK Mail CV security was born out of our market demand. In the previous entry and exit management, it's very difficult to monitor in real time whether the door is not closed properly or whether there's a trailing state. The previous access control management was in a state of passive protection. To do advanced warning operations, we have launched the ZK Bio CV Security, which is an upgraded version of ZK Bio Security, which enhances the ability of video analysis on the basis of ZK Bio Security and solve the point points we mentioned above. In general, ZK Bio CV Security is based on hybrid biometric technology and computer vision technology and provides a person, vehicle, object integrated security software management platform. ZK Mouse CV Security is an upgraded version of ZK Mouse Security based on ZK Tech's long term accumulated experience and user needs in the field of the security industry, video surveillance and intelligent analysis applications are fully integrated to deliver adequate warning in advance, rapid response to, us, to incidents, and accurate verification after the event, providing more effective security for people, vehicle, and object. So, compared with the digital security, what's the difference? of ZK Bio CV Security. Actually, ZK Bio CV Security is more outstanding with the better interaction, the host pair, ZK Bio High Availability host pair, and the rich API, and more modules, and system high security. And it is more secure with the advanced warning and after the fact analysis and is more friendly to with the user-defined dashboard and the new UI, new UI, such as the dark mode and the light mode. In general, it mainly adds the three functions of, of ZK Boss security, service center, intelligent video, and intelligent scene. The next, I will introduce some ZK Mouse Security's new advantages from intelligent video capability first. From intelligent video, at present, it still retains all traditional video capabilities like video preview, video playback, and decal on the wall, but it's more powerful. It can support 1000 plus channels of video access and 64 channels of preview on the same screen and 16 channels of playback on the same screen. And the second is the video alarm, including voice intercom, voice broadcasting, and real-time alarm, follow-up after back and video picture. The next is important. Intelligent video analysis, it can support, target, what it call ordinary behavioral situation analysis, and, and etc. Finally, about smart force, in the use of new and old customers, the smart force has the ability of target recognition and perimeter with multi vendor IPC through RTSP, enhancing the third party the third party IP camera intelligent pictures. In addition to the intelligent video, the intelligent scene function is also another advantage of ZK Bio Security. 
there are several uh, several functions of intelligence thing, like the target search. It can clearly fill a lot of states and data statistic and analysis of the strangers retrieve or the personal trajectories about to keep personal control. It mainly contains the management of the block list, white list, and other personal detection, and is able to quickly find the corresponding personal and generate their trajectories. About the trading detection, it mainly to monitor it mainly to monitor the trading situation in real time. About the other functions, such as people counting, uh, user defined scenarios, and attendance checking, perimeter protection. Uh, these functions have their own dashboards too. I will go more detail later. Okay. Now, maybe we have some questions. What's the difference between intelligent video and intelligent sim? Actually, intelligent video module mainly for video management, such as the video preview, video playback, decal interval, along configuration and along real, real time preview, etc. And all ITCs are assessed uh, through the main device AS1700 or NDRSX. This module is charged by the voice voice. And this module has two presentation modes, Miss Detection and Life Alone. About a different uh, intelligence scene is the application and presentation of intelligent video analytics, IVA, yes. And there are visual, visual dashboards for each function which can dynamically present intelligent video analytics. And the, smart, and the smart IPC here is directly connect to the intelligent scene module. It can also connect it to the device in the intelligent video module or use the edge bars to connect the key or third party general IPC. And this module charged by uh, function models. There are the difference between intelligent video and intelligent thing. In addition to intelligent video and intelligent thing parts, ZK Mouse Security has also added customized dashboard functions and the shortcut kit. Here is the dash, uh, dashboard. dashboard and the shortcut menu here. We have customized dashboard for each module, uh, such as attendance, uh, attendance, visitor, uh, and entry control, such like that. All dashboards will have data statistics, like the attendance dashboard will show you the personal attendance statistics and the voice states. Uh, access control, dashboard to uh, including access control device and even trains. About the short car kits, we can choose what we want from here. Here. And we can choose what we want from here. Okay, in addition to the Intelligent video, intelligent scene, and customized dashboard. We have also added a module of service center, which mainly includes event center, notification center, and mass center. The event center uh, it means that all events of all modules will be centralized. You can quickly find and handle the events. About notification center, it supports it can support email, SMS, WhatsApp, Line, Amazon SMS, communication methods. And this system can automatically send messages as needed, such as a visitor appointment or visit notification. About the math center, 
Now it can support January Mat, Super Mat, Google Mat, Baidu Mat. Based on the Mat, we can visualize the voice and event and personal trajectories. And here is an introduction of notification center. Uh, the system can push messages according to different situation, and we can set different message templates as we want, as you like. Next, I will introduce you the highlights functions about ZKBox security. The following introduction will expand into more details. Firstly, Intelligent Video Module is a highlight function, a highlight module of ZK Mouse Security. The newly added capabilities of the Intelligent Video Module can currently achieve a variety of monitoring and alarming. Intelligent Video can support a variety of analytics, including general intelligence and the behavioral analysis and situation analysis about the general intelligence including motion detection, cover alarm, and privacy protection it can support about behavioral analysis including line crossing detection, instruction detection, etc. as you see about the situation analysis and recruiting live crossing statistics, creating legs, how the density and heat maps, such as this. The above are all about the analysis function of advanced warning. And importantly, at present, these intelligent functions are mainly provided by AS1700 and BioX Furious IPC. Uh, it means that the behavioral analysis and situation analysis are mainly provided by AS1700 and BioX Serious IPC. In addition to general intelligent behavioral analysis and situation analysis, there are target intelligent analysis too. Through the identification of people and verticals, we can quickly search for targets, vehicles and targets. And next, there are two presentation modes of intelligent video alarm module. Uh, the first is the mist detection and the live detection. The mist detection is mainly used to display in real time preview video of each camera and the data of the alarm event. The identification information such like this uh, can be displayed here too. For related events, it can also fill the details such as snapshots and the video playback, which is convenient for users to handle events. And about live alarm, we can display the latest report on alarms and the user can view the details of events and users can also define uh, the type of event. Next is about arming of personal and vehicles under the intelligent video module. The first is target verification. It's more suitable for entries and exit management. It can protect the vertical entering and leaving in advance with the least liability, such as broad list vehicle. If the broad list vehicles are identified, they can be controlled in advance. And the facial recognition is more suitable for the door. It can compare some important person in advance. For example, the VIP members can be added. The VIP member can be added in uh, white list in other ones, so that VIP members can pass quickly. And this also can be linked to the voice control, triggering sound alarms, 
when identifying the VIP list, the clock can realize there are VIP customers coming. About the target search, about target search, it can also search through some conditions such as the time of the appearance of the character. Uh, we can search for the corresponding event and we can fill the details of the event such as video playback of the event and at the same time we can add corresponding person to the list library. Not only that, we can also search by personal imagine. It means that we use this person's imagine. Uh, we can search the corresponding events right here on the right side. About the vertical search, we can search by some conditions such as car color, car type, etc. The next is about intelligence scene modules. Let's see what kind of highlight functions the intelligence scene has. Maybe target research first. Uh, the target search is more powerful than target search of intelligent video. It can search the target presentation of a whole platform, not only the access control module, but also the event generated by the same person in the parking module. And finally, it can draw the trajectory of this person. Uh, it can be searched by many task characteristics like uh, gender, age, mask, or your hair, clothes, color, etc. Finally, uh, a personal track, a personal track report will be also generated. And the next part is about intelligence in which personal control. It may be through facial recognition technology and then identify the list and compare with the list library, such as strangers block list comparison. Generally, there is the dashboard, uh, dashboard of personal control. The left side, the left side will display the white list event, and the middle one is the stringer list event. And the right one is the block list event. And we can also see the statistics of comparison details and general reports in real time. And the next is about trading detection. If someone is trading another one, uh, like this one, and the person is trading another one without verification, a trading capture event will be displayed on the dashboard and the event description who is trading who will also be seen. The whole process can be recorded and played back and the staff will be can quickly managed. We can likely we can likely uh, likely on this person on this suspicious person picture to quickly search for the target and draw the trajectory. Through the capture of the face, the trajectory map of this person can also be drawn through the target search function. It means that we can, uh, we can search and view the person trajectory by catching per pictures. The trading detection uh, can be linked to the personal trajectory detection. And the next is about people counting. Through cross-line statistics, the number of people in this area can be counted. On the left is the number is the number who can still enter in this area. And the red shows that shows an a long state showing that the number of people exceed the limit. And the green indicates that the number of people in this area is still within the range. There are also some incomes on the dashboard, uh, such as please wear 
Face marks of risky a social distance of more than one meter, uh, meter, such as areas that, such like this, they can be added according to the actual situation. And the next is about the intelligence and its perimeter protection. The cross-border function of the intelligent video. If someone crosses this line, uh, there, is, there will be an alarm, uh, alarm. And it can dynamically present all column cross-line information. And this is more suitable for some place like uh, park, perimeter, and face, uh, border, etc. The next application is about attendance tracking monitoring. It's more suitable for some important and small number of positions, and the camera installation requirements are relatively high. The camera must be must be able to recognize the head and the shoulders. It means that one camera can only monitor one post. If the camera recognizes that there is no one in this position, the dashboard will turn yellow like this in about one minute, indicating that there is no one in this position and will display the departure time. The yellow one is the departure time. So it's very convenient for managers to monitor the working states of personnel in the key positions. Okay, the above are the explanations of the new functions of DK Bowser Security. Then we'll explain some of the existing comparisons of our software. The first is the DK Mouse Access IBS, which is more suitable for free. It's more suitable for some small things and generally within $25. And about ZK Bow security, most suitable for some SMB scenarios. Regarding the comparison between ZK Bow security and ZK Bow security ISP, in fact, the ability of ISP in system integration, uh, in system integration, is relatively high. While the ZK Mouse security is more suitable for medium and high end projects that require various intelligent video analytics. This. Of course, if there is a need for system integration, uh, choose the ISP. Okay, the above. Uh, the above are the introductions of the new functions and highlight, highlights of ZK Bowser security. Next, I will briefly introduce the sales model of ZK Bowser security. ZK Bowser security sales modules will be more flexible. There are two modules. The first one is selling in the form of their server. Uh, like this, mainly promote the system integration solution. The license is already contained in the server and, we, and there's no need to install other license to use it. It means that it can be used immediately without installation because of the three-in-one server software and license. And the other sales model is the original ZK Bow security sales model, which is sold according to the license point here, which is more suitable for some customers who prefer channel and access control business. Generally, if customers need within $25, we can follow the original sales model issue the license installation packages and sell according to the license point. 
So why we choose the Linux-based server? Uh, there are some advantages. Firstly, is the dedicated Linux-based server. A genuine, a genuine Linux-based server designed for decades of security provides higher stability, better performance, higher efficiency, and importantly, installation free, free installation. The pre-installation greatly enhances installation efficiency and reduces on-site installation and maintenance cost. So it's cost-effective. It comes with a free of charge on board basic license and service with one type free of charge remote software upgraded and module expansion service. And we don't need to worry about in compatibility, uh, compatibility with our software. Both Linux and ZKBoss security has been adapted and fully compatible. Uh, besides, ZKBoss security comes under software warranty. There's as the hardware provider of the Kibos security Linux based server of a three years worldwide warranty. And this is uh, and there are the configurations of different servers. Uh, different types have different configurations. For example, the ZK Mouse Security Server 25464. Uh, it can support 25 volts and total device up to 200. We can choose. Uh, we can choose the corresponding types according to our needs. Okay, we have both uh, the about two uh, cell models of the cable security. Next, we you enter the hardware path. The following are some types of hardware products supported by the system, including but not limited to those currently displayed. The first is the AS1700. Uh, the main, its main advantage lies the full storage capacity and functions of backend intelligence analysis. Including, uh, including a variety of intelligent analysis tasks uh, such as uh, face analysis, human body analysis, uh, vehicle analysis, etc. And the following are some IPCs with intelligent analysis. They can all support corresponding intelligent analysis function. Next is the ZKIVH T1, the new product. It may be used in recycling projects with 28.8 tops half rate and 300,000 face templates. On the right side is the top load. You can see that it can connect multiple general IPCs, including ZK and third party non smart cameras. Enhancing the camera's intelligent features and it can be applied in three scenarios perimeter protection, key personal application, and trailing detection. But currently, it doesn't, it doesn't support storage capacity. If you need storage function, if you need an is external NDR. The next is the hardware product for the access control. As we can see, the product has ultra large capacity, ultra large capacity and high speed facial recognition, 0 0.3 seconds. The next is the Proface XXL. One of the Advantage is that it's dust proof and waterproof level is relatively high with IP78.
and it can be highly waterproof and dustproof. It means that it's relatively safe to soak in water. About the Proma, uh, it's also a new product. The additional advantage is that it has built-in POD, which is relatively convenient while in method, and which is beneficial to on-site to on-site well. And there are the G4 that we are familiar with. The next is the last plate. Last player recognition integrated machine. Uh, the license player recognition accuracy is up to 99.7%, and the license play recognition speed is less than 200 milliseconds. The next is the MCBF. Uh, it's worth noting that. MCBF of the standard version device is proven to be over 3 million and the series supports 5 year warranty. The next is our vertical visitor machine. It can also support multiple modification methods like facial recognition or temperature screen. For fingerprint fortification. And this is the first desktop face kiosk overseas. Previous models were all vertical, uh, previous like this. Uh, this face kiosk supports multi languages and modification methods such as facial recognition and scan QR code. And swiping your passport. But currently, only English passports are supported. Okay. The next is the Q&A part. If you have any questions, you can send the questions to the puppy show email. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.